Hey Happy folks, Day. Happy Father's Day week. This is day two of the Father's Day challenge where you will read with your kids for 12 minutes each day for the next 12 days. We started yesterday, yesterday Monday was day one and it's going from June 13th all the way to June 24th, the week leading up to Father's Day and a few days after Father's Day. Again, this is a great time for you to engage with your kids. Um, Quentin and I have already started. We're reading um, the Big Green Book of Beginning Books, and we're reading uh, book number one, uh, which is basically Up, Up. So um, whether your kid is Quentin age, four, four and a half, five, or whether they're 12 to 13 or 16-year-old, take time to, to read with your kids this week. Um, it will give you some time for conversation, uh, depending on what the content is. Uh, you can read, again, blogs, magazines, newspaper articles. Um, but the bottom line is that you be engaged. It's not that you send them to go reading, that you read with them uh, or you listen to them or like Quentin and I are going to do tonight again. We're going to alternate reading where he reads a page, I read a page. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'll let you guys read along with me for a little bit and then um, we're going to sign off. All right. Actually, I want to do this one. And let's continue to read. I, I actually do want to do another. Uh, let's finish this first, buddy. Go ahead. Up, up, up. Three days for up. Wake up every person. Being a pup, it tells everyone on earth is up. Mm hmm. Except for me, please go away. No up, I'm sleeping in today. So we got through that one pretty fast because uh, we had already started to read. So we're going to go to, would you rather be a bullfrog? Do you want to read that or do you want to read Superman? I'll read this. All right. Tell me, would you rather be a dog or be a cat? It's time for you to think about important things like that. No, you. Frog, you. Sorry, start here. Um, would you rather be a cold frog? Bullfrog. Bullfrog, or be a butterfly? Which one would you rather be? Um. Now, tell me why. All right, turn the page, please. Tell me, would you rather be a minnow or a whale? And tell me, would you rather be a hammer or a nail? nail. What? Look, Daddy. Yeah. That I, if I have to write, I'll read all of this. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. Would you rather have a feather or bunny tail? Or a bunny. Bushy. Bushy tail behind. Mm hmm. Which would. No, you, set up, please. Come on, sit up. Okay. Go ahead. Which, which, would, which would feel the best you come on make up? Let's do that again. This is a question. See that? Which would feel the best on you? Let's say it again. Which would feel the best on you? Come on, make up your mind. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And would you rather be a um cactus? Cactus mm -hmm. or a toadstool? Toadstool. Toadstool. Mm -hmm. 
or a rose. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. And which would which would look the best on you? This one looks the best. Mm -hmm. The long or the shortish nose. So some of these stories have a lot of pictures, and so you'll see that a lot of kids find themselves looking at the pictures for a longer time before uh, doing the words. So that's part of, as I read with him, giving him some guidance where he can look at the pictures and not spend too much time on looking at the pictures, but actually start doing reading some of the words. Daddy, now it's your turn. All right, would you rather be a skinny or would you rather be a fat? Would you rather be a ball or would you rather be a bat? bat? And once more, I'm going to ask you, how about that dog and cat? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> but I want to read it. Wait a second. Did we already do a, new, a, a different story? Yes, go ahead and read this one. Think now. Think now. Would you rather be a rooster or a hen? Okay, come down. How would you like to lay an egg every now and then? Now and then. Now and then. Read the next page. Would you... Rather have a moose horns, horns, or small horns like a cow. This is so 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 impressed. No, M. Pressed that. Important. Important and what? And uh, don't read. To the... now, right now. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna spend some time uh, reading through this with him. So happy Father's Day week. Um, continue with your Father's Day challenge 12 minutes a day for the next 12 days. It will be invaluable time with your kids. Have a good evening.